Now, when the online streaming service Netflix released all 13 episodes of House of Cards at the same time, the gamble paid off. For one thing, Michael and I were extremely happy when that happened. Last July, House of Cards became the first web television series to be nominated for nine primetime Emmy Awards. ABC arts producer Tim Stone has been speaking with executive producer Bo Willimon about our changing viewing habits. Binge viewing uh, is something that's been going on for a decade now, ever since box sets were introduced. I think what Netflix realized was that viewers already were shaping their viewing environment to suit their own personal needs and preferences. So why not give that to them from day one? And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. One heartbeat away from the presidency, not a single vote cast in my name. Democracy is so overrated. We just set out to tell a great story. We figured it would probably end up, if it ended up anywhere, on an HBO or a Showtime or an AMC. But after working on the script for about a year and getting Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright on board, we started sitting down with those networks, and Netflix came to the table as well. And they offered us something that uh, no one else, I guess, had the guts to do, which was two seasons up front uh, and creative control. I want him obliterated. More than that, let's make him suffer. I don't know whether to be proud or terrified. There was a great deal of respect going in both directions. Respect from them towards us as artists who um, had strong opinions and strong vision, but also you know, a lot of respect from us going towards them as people who were taking a major risk on a, a new paradigm. I must not lose my resolve. I will march forward, even if I have to do so alone. As someone who makes my living uh, by creating art and getting a certain amount of compensation for it, piracy directly undermines that. But I do understand not wanting to wait, or you know, if I don't want to watch it on a network and I can grab it six months earlier and watch it at will. I mean, there you see, again, the viewers shaping their own viewing experience. I know a number of people in Australia who had seen House of Cards before it started airing here. If you make it easier for people to get the content that they want, and you do it at an affordable price, there's no need for them to pirate that content. The idea of appointment viewing, a certain show airing at a certain uh, time and, and day, uh, still that's the way most shows are, are put out into the world, but it's not necessary anymore. With DVR, with On Demand, you have the uh, ability to watch a show whenever you want to watch it. Now, does that lessen the shared experience? Maybe in the traditional water cooler sense of the word, but you then have social media. You can find people are watching the same episode the same time you are. I can link Kern directly to the Williams editorial. Hey, Twitter twat. So I think it's different modes of sharing. I think there's major cultural shifts that are happening that make the water cooler moment obsolete, and I think it's been dying a slow and, you know, um, not so tragic death for a while. We're all changing and the way in which we consume our entertainment is changing and that's okay. Welcome back. And I'm going to be standing by with the remote to hit the button by now. Pretty much the second it's downloaded and released. Fantastic. Are you going to binge watch the next series too? <laughs> that is my preferred way of watching TV series, is yeah. to binge watch. Yeah. So uh, what we'll do is we'll have an early dinner and then Russell and I sit down and do as many episodes as we can stay up, stay awake for. Yeah. The next series is out, I think, on the 14th yeah. or 15th of February. So. But I'll, I'll, do that. I'll do that with other ones that, that aren't even released in that way, so I'll save them. Yeah. And, and not watch them week by week. Yeah. Just because I, I, I hate the frustration of feeling I've got to wait another week for it. I want it all there and I'd rather see it late. Yeah. <laughs> Much to my horror, my wife got the box set of Sex, Sex in the City for Christmas and she is hogging the TV, binge my watching. Con my condolences. That show. <laughs> and it's a show you want nothing to do with, right? Oh, it's not my favourite show. No. But yep. Girls yep. love it. <laughs> Some.